Okay, what tool is this? Wrench! Very good, yes! Hey, how you doing? It's nice to see you again. Welcome back to the amazing junkyard of wonderful stuff. I'm Handy Dan, the junkyard man, and I'm just upgrading Junkbot's memory data by going over a valuable lesson on tools and how they work. Okay, a wrench is a useful tool. It tightens and loosens nuts and bolts. It's gonna be a long lesson. Hey, do you love tales of high adventure with knights, kings, queens, ogres, barbarians, wizards, gnomes, giants, sea serpents, magical weapons, orcs, griffins, halflings, rangers, trolls, fairies, elves, gremlins, dwarves, elementals, chimeras, goblins, will-o'-wisps, and even minotaurs? Hmm, wait a minute, there's one I'm forgetting. Dragons! Yes, of course! I always sat and wondered on how they flew up into the sky and belted fire. And then I thought of this amazing idea that I can make my very own fire-breathing dragon using simple materials you could just find around your own home. It's super fast, it's super easy and fun. And this dragon fire won't even burn! Here's what you'll need. Some tissue paper resembling dragon fire colors two white cotton balls, and one cotton ball that's already painted, and a toilet paper tube. I already painted mine green to save some time. You're also gonna need one black marker and one glue stick, a pair of scissors, but get your parents' permission before you borrow those scissors. They're as sharp as dragon teeth. <laughs> and don't forget the paint to paint your dragon with. I didn't have any green around the junkyard, so I just combined yellow and blue. <laughs> First, we take our tissue paper, then we're gonna take our scissors and cut slits. They can be skinny or fat. Hey, it all depends on your dragon and how big it breathes its fire. <laughs> then we take one piece of our ripped tissue paper, we take our glue stick, we just add a little bit of glue on the edge. Then we take our other piece of cut tissue paper and we lay it on top, stick it together. Now we take our painted green cotton ball and we just cut it in half. This is going to be the dragon's nose. <laughs> Then we take our toilet paper tube and our glue stick. I'll just add a little bit of glue at the end here and then add a cotton ball to it. Make sure you press down, make sure it's stuck good. Take the other cotton ball, stick it on, press it down pretty tight. Next, we take our cotton balls and our marker, just dab it up and down, press it down pretty hard. Make sure the black gets into the cotton ball. Eyeball. Now we're gonna put the dragon's eyes on the tube the same way we did the nostrils. We'll put some glue here on the other edge. Put a cotton ball here and a cotton ball there. Kinda looks like a dragon already, doesn't it? Next, we take our tissue paper, put some glue on one end, try to roll it and make a circle that you think would fit in the toilet paper tube. Next, take the mouth of the dragon and use your glue stick, rub it all along the inside of his mouth. It's kind of like the dragon needs some chapstick. <laughs> then you stick the fire into his mouth. Make sure the glue sticks to the paper. There we go. Our own fire-breathing dragon. <sighs> And if you want to give your dragon fire a little bit more oomph, take a hair dryer. <laughs> well, that's all the time we have for today. We hope you enjoyed your visit here at the amazing junkyard of wonderful stuff. I'm Handy Dan the Junkyard Man, reminding you that one person's trash can be another person's adventure. Bye.